Wario is. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Oh, something's coming up. Oh. Oh God. So Wario. So Wario. <coughs> Wario is quite disgusting, as you can tell. He's greedy, loud, gassy, notoriously known as a cheer, has nasty breath as he tends to eat entire loaves of garlic on a daily basis, and is incredibly obese. And yet, somehow jacked out of his mind at the same time. That's really weird. This anti-version of Mario debuted in the second Super Mario Land game. Wario was featured as the main antagonist as he broke into Mario's home and turned his homeland's inhabitants into zombies. Out of the second Mario Land game came the third one, which was actually a spin-off game featuring Wario as the protagonist. The game was a treasure hunting style platformer appropriately titled Wario Land. Wario Land spawned an entire franchise of games featuring the greedy fat ass, spawning three more games in the Wario Land series, a GameCube hit titled Wario World, an anime style Wii game called Wario Land Shake It, <laughs> get it, it's a butt joke, and even a virtual board game. Wario has since kept treasure hunting as a hobby rather than a career, founding his own gaming company titled WarioWare. WarioWare is Wario's current series and is a beat the clock style game in which you play small micro games in about 4 seconds or less in quick succession. Founding a video game company, huh? I'd say he's come a long way from breaking into people's houses and claiming them as his own. Wouldn't you say so? Alright, so I just started playing and we're on the Wario stage. I, I'm telling you, it's my destiny to pick characters and then just go to their stage by some sort of, like, random generator or something. I don't know. It's just gonna happen. Alright, playing against a Ryu, I don't know too much about this matchup since Ryu is, you know, kind of a new character. And I don't even really know how to play as Ryu at all. Yeah, good, uh, that was a good one, bro. That was a really good one. You got me with that F smash. Oh god, he grabbed me. He grabbed me. Don't grab me. My, you'll, you'll grab my man boobs and then I'll, I'll feel uncomfortable. Alright. Wario, honestly... Very solid character. See that move I'm doing right now? And he let me do that for a long time, dude. That move is called Bite. It is his neutral B, and it is just such a good move. It, like, it just neutralizes so many approach options that people try and do against Wario, because he can just grab them with his mouth. It's like a grab move, right? But instead of- Oh, well, oh my god. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. Oh, I don't know if my fat can handle this. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. My... <laughs> okay, I think it stopped. It was just like a spike. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, we're going straight to hell. Something tells me, something tells me I'm gonna leave this man. Something tells me I'm gonna, like, leave this guy after I'm done with him. Oh my god, yo, that was hilarious. Oh, the fart! Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Alright, so I guess that's the first thing we can, uh... <laughs> got him. Alright, I guess that's the first thing we can talk about here. Wario's downbeat is called the Wario Waft. It is a fart move. Yes, Wario has a fart move. It's very appropriate. He's had it since Brawl. Which, honestly, I was surprised that Wario wasn't in Melee. Maybe he just wasn't considered big enough of a character by Nintendo at the time. But either way, Wario has a, Wario's down B is a fart move. It's one of the most... It's an incredibly, incredibly powerful move if you land it. It's high risk, high reward. It takes a long time to charge up, and it also charges up through stock. So if Wario dies, that move will continue to charge up. Like, if you didn't use it yet, you'll still have that move. And what it does, it's a down B, it's a high risk, high reward. You land it, your opponent is going to take a ton of damage, and is very, very likely going to die. But what people also don't know... Uh, let me show you real quick. Say, like, I had the move, right? If I do the down B, and it was fully charged, it would launch me way up into the air. So sometimes, if, like, you can't recover with all the jumps that Wario has, and for whatever reason, you're all the way out there, like, you're all the way off stage, you can use it as a last chance resort to get back up onto the stage. Alright, this, this guy went- Oh, crap. I meant to leave this guy because he was so laggy. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay. So, Wario, honestly, solid, solid, solid. This guy- Okay. Yeah, that- that even- I- I can't. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Like- <laughs> Okay, Wario, 
uh, is a very, very, very solid character. He's solid mid-tier, I would say. He's honestly, like, I wouldn't say you should make Wario your main if you want to, like, actually, like, try and, like, win big-time tournaments. You want to, like, be, like, a major Super Smash Bros. player. But that doesn't mean you can't win with Wario. He's a very good character. I would say he's definitely a great choice for a secondary. And who knows? You could main Wario, too, and he, he killed himself. I don't... I, I'm trying to teach things about this character... And, and I can't because this guy, like, keeps killing himself immediately because he's too afraid to get pummeled by Wario's massive layers of fat. Okay, he left. No big deal. Alright, so Wario actually has, like, a couple of costumes. Like, Wario has his Wario wear costume, which Nintendo considers, like, to be the main, like, Wario thing. He has his own, like, series. See, like, the W, like, behind him, that little symbol? That's because they, can, they don't really consider Wario a Mario character in terms of this game, even though we all know he is. They consider him based off his own series, which is why, like, the regular Wario is, like, this outfit. But then all, like, the really, like, hardcore, like, oh, Wario was better back in Wario Land, like, when they all complained, they put the original costume in, too, just in case. Which, honestly, when I was a kid, I was upset about that, too. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Wario's outfit like this, but, like, if they didn't include, like, this is what Wario looks like. We all know this is what Wario looks like, and if they didn't make him look like that, that would have been pretty stupid. So, I'm gonna play as this one this round again, but then I'm probably gonna switch to the other one, because I really, like... I like both costumes, because a lot of people hated WarioWare. I liked that game. It just had some really weird, like, Japanese-esque, like, factors to it, and it was just totally fun to play with your friends. My god, I can't, can't even describe to you the amount of fun I had playing that game as a child. Oh boy, a Roy player, and, and it's laggy as hell. I, I can't... Okay, so hopefully now we have an actual match against a Marth player. Uh, Marth has very long reach in this game. He's always had, like, long reach. And Wario has very good spacing options. He's very good at spacing with his uh, forward air here, which does a solid amount of damage, too. Alright. You see what I just did there? Wario's down tilt is a great close range option. You can hit it a couple of times, and depending, like, at very low percents, it can combo into his jab. Which can also combo into his forward air after that. I can't do it now because he's at like a mid percent. But at low percents, you're going to want to like get one or two down tilts. And then you're going to want to, uh... Then you're going to want to uh, combo that into his jab. Which you can then get into a forward air. One of Wario's best uh, offstage options is that... Not Wario's offstage options. What I mean is that if your opponent is offstage, is back airs. Because back airs... Wario's back air is a very powerful move, but like... Alright, in order to space out, you can space out with neutral airs or forward airs, like, in the air. That's what I would say the best course of option for Wario is in the, uh, close range department. His, uh, up tilt on the ground, probably not, not really the safest move on shield because it's a little laggy towards the end of it. Not as safe as, like, his down tilt or even, like, his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, his, uh, forward one? Alright. Wario, though, honestly, the more I play this character, the more I honestly, like, love him. See, like, I tried to go for an up tilt there, but Marth, even with Marth's laggy moves, was able to have priority over me because of it. So up tilt is definitely not one of Wario's stronger moves. But Wario is a great character because he has, like, the strength... He has the strength of, like, a small heavyweight, and but not the speed of one. He's like a combination of a heavyweight and, like, a middleweight fighter. You know what I'm saying? Very, very good. He also has an amazing recovery because his side B is this. A scrubbier player would just do what I'm doing right now and going side to side with the bike because believe me, I played against spammers. It's, it's for glory. I played against people who have done that before. It's it's awful, really. But uh, Wario has a phenomenal recovery because uh, he can after his uh, double jump, you can't just immediately like. I mean, you can just immediately do his up B if you want, but you could do his side B, and then after his side B, you'll be able to jump off the bike in midair, which, you'll, which will give you another hop move, you know? And then you'll be able to up B after that. So Wario, offstage, very, very good. He has a great recovery. And honestly, his neutral game is not bad either. Like, this character is so underrated. He really is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him, like, high tier, but he's not bad at all. I would call him, like, upper mid tier, really. Alright, so you can see Wario's flashing orange a little bit right now. That means I have the Wario waft fully charged. And the best course of action to use this move would probably be now! Oh, god damn it. Would probably be like off stage in order to gimp your opponent in case your opponent DIs it really well. Because on the ground it's kind of hard to land because the hitbox for it is smaller than it looks. Alright, did I kill him? I did, that did kill him. Yeah, so honestly, a lot of his moves at high percent can kill really easily. He has very, very powerful smash attacks. Because, like I said, he's sort of like a heavyweight fighter. And his combo game is not bad either. 
like I said, you can do a couple of down tilts into his jab and then into a forward air. And at low percents, low to like low mid percents, I would say, his uh, up throw actually combos into his up B. Like you'll think to yourself like, oh wow, another character has combos out of his down throw. But Wario really only has combos out of his down throw at low percents. He can down throw into a dash attack. And it's honestly like not even the best option he has. Like he could just space out with forward airs or like throw his opponent up and then put it into an up B. Like I said, the more I play this character, the more and more I like him. I'm completely serious about that. Like, he's totally awesome. And also in this game, I love how they just have elements of both Wario Land and the Wario Wear series. Because they have, like, both of his outfits from each game. And, uh... Uh... I don't know, I think his moveset kind of reflects that as well. Because Wario Wear has a lot more, like, subtle references to, uh, Wario Land than you'd think it does. Alright, see? And then you can combo that into a small dash attack into a Nair. Oh, it's so close. Alright, there we go. Alright, you see what I mean by Wario's recovery though, right? Oh my god, I actually almost died there. See, his uppy, his uppy was buffed from Brawl, but it's still not the best. Like, it's still not, like, his recovery, his uppy was, like, really, really cruddy in Brawl. But, like, in this game, it's still really good, and, uh, he stopped moving. Alright, so now I can show you a solid example of Wario's combo game, because that guy uh, apparently kind of just gave up. I mean, I kind of like got a stock off of him and I was only at 18%. And some people will rage when that kind of thing happens, I suppose. Like, some people just stop caring. I, I don't know. Uh, what else can I talk about here? I actually plan on getting some GameCube controllers for this game recently. I know what you're thinking. Like, Nintunas, don't you play with Hori controllers? I do. But Hori controllers, they're good in almost every aspect except for the control stick. The control stick tends to kind of do its own thing sometimes. Like, this controller most of the time is kind of reliable, but like sometimes it's just not. Sometimes the controller will just do its own thing because it's very, very sensitive. And on a GameCube controller, it's not like that. So I'm probably going to get like a GameCube controller recently. I found a website that sells them really, really cheap, so I'm going to get four, and I'm also going to get a good adapter for it. So is this guy going to stay with me, or I don't know. He kind of just stopped playing that round for some reason, so I don't, I don't know. Let's go with this red one. Actually, hmm... Uh, yeah, let's go with this red one. This is a cool outfit. So yeah, picking up on what I said before, Wario is an incredibly solid character. He's very underrated because he has great options, like, against his approach. Like, it can be really hard to approach Wario because you can also B reverse his neutral B, like most neutral Bs, into, like, the bite. And sometimes that can just totally neutralize people's approaches, especially, like, if they have... Not even if they have projectiles or not, because Wario can actually eat a lot of projectiles. Like, he can literally eat the projectiles. Like, Mario's Fireball, Wario can eat them. A fucking, the only one, kind of, now that I think of it, the only one I think he can't eat is, uh, DDD's Gordos. And that makes sense, I suppose. Oh, he grabbed me. Alright. He took that long, he took a really long time to decide to play as the same character. Kind of reminds me of Chudat, like, taking, like, five minutes in, like, a Xanadu tournament to just pick the same character he played as before. He's like, hmm, who am I gonna pick as a counterpick? And then he just went Kirby, just like he did in the last match. Oh, you got me with that F-Smash, bro. It was, a, it was a brilliant read. All right. So, Wario's F-Smash is there. Wario's forward smash, a little laggy, but it's very, very powerful. It's not as laggy as, say, like, Bowser's F-Smash. Because, like I said, Wario has, like, the elements of a heavyweight, but he himself is not really a heavyweight fighter. You know what I'm saying? Eat my bike, bitch! Okay. Nom 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 nom! <laughs> yes. Also, uh, for a very short time, like after Wario jumps off his bike, the bike still counts as a projectile towards your opponent. Like, you could jump off the bike and the bike may still hit your opponent if they don't dodge it. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Wario, thousand times better than Marth in this game. Marth did recently get buffed, but I don't know exactly what they did to change him. So you're gonna have to look at, like, Smash Boards or something, at the patch notes or something. Because this game actually did just update a game recently, like, patch 1.0.9 or something. And then you go to, like, the quote-unquote patch notes, like, in this game, and it says, like, various changes to improve gameplay. It's like, why the fuck does Nintendo not tell us what they did to the game? Like, seriously, like, they- I love Nintendo as a company, but they do so much- they just need to get with the program sometimes, man. I really want to get the fart move. I really want to get the fart at least once. At least once in my life. Oh my god, this guy sucks. At least, I mean, it's good that I run into somebody that sucks, because now I can more easily show, like, this character's good traits, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he shielded it. See? 
Very high risk, very high reward. The move is really not that hard to dodge. So, like I said, I like to use it as a gimping option. But yeah. See, my Wario... My Wario's pretty good, I would say. Probably not one of my best characters, obviously. Like, not like Mario or DDD or like, you know, like those kind of characters that I main. But Wario, I honestly am considering picking up this character now. I like him a lot. I honestly, truly, truly do. Alright guys, but I guess I'm going to end it here. I don't want this video to be too long. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me up next week for uh, Smashing Sunday's episode... 9. It's going to be episode 9. And oh, it's going to be a good one. Because we're going to be playing as Expandong. You know what time it is. It's time to play as the first and potentially last member of the DK crew. Or Diddy. But Diddy's the week after that. So no big deal. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit me up on Facebook. All the latest updates regarding me and my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did in fact enjoy the video. And I will see you next time.